Hello everyone, it's Bonita from Pennies to Dollars. And today I thought we would talk about are we being frugal only in the hard times? I have been frugal most of my life, but over the last two years, we have added more things to the things that we're already doing that has actually saved us money and made things easier for us and things that we continue to plan to do in the future. I have found that once I have reached my 50s, every dollar seems like it is more valuable to me because it is a dollar that is getting me that much closer to retirement. And I know once I get to retirement, those dollars aren't going to be so easily obtained. And so I like to hang on to every dollar that I can to get me closer to that goal that I have in mind. I also love to travel. I love to do things. And so when I can save money in other ways, I can do the things that I love to do. So I don't feel like being frugal in just bad times is the answer. Because if we're frugal all of the time, then we have an infinite way to have a better life. Warren Buffett is a millionaire a billionaire and he says that if we buy things that we don't need eventually we will have to sell things that we do need that's pretty profound and that is some of the things that gets us into trouble we want things we envy things and a lot of times we envy things from people that are in debt but we don't know what their finances look like and maybe the people that are in the older house and the older car are the ones that actually have everything paid for so that's a different spin on looking at things and envy i know after the depression era people started changing their outlook on things. We became consumers where we used to be savers. If we got birthday money, if we got Christmas money, we were taught to save that money, save it for the future. We weren't given it and then take it out and allowed to spend it. But now people go out and use that birthday money and that Christmas money for something that they want or something special that they didn't have, not necessarily anything that they needed. Our Christmas lists have changed over the years. We used to have Christmas lists of nightgowns and socks and underwear, things that we needed, things that we only got a time or two during the year, during the holiday and our birthday. And now we just go out and get them whenever we want them or whenever we feel like we want to get something new. It isn't just an occasional treat like it was back in the day. Those gifts then were given to us to save us money later on and to help the people that you were giving them to. Pushing our frugal limits and being creative with our money and with our savings are things that we need to remember to focus on. I do things a little differently. For instance, it's only my husband and I, and over the last couple of years, one of the changes we've made is I wash all of our clothes together. I don't separate them out anymore like I was taught by my grandmother and my mother. Clothes don't run like they used to. They don't fade. They don't cause a quality issue if you throw them all together. And I'm able to only wash two loads a week by putting everything together and having two full loads. And that's a huge time saver for me as well. I also believe in taking things back to the store, even if it's food and we didn't like it. For instance, the other day, I bought some coffee at a pharmacy that was marked down and we tried it three different ways. We tried it and it didn't taste good at all. Then we tried it and added more coffee and it still tasted like watered down flavor. And then we tried it with stronger coffee and mixed it together and it still tasted the same. So I took it back and I got my $4 and my 29 cents back that I could spend on something that we really did need. 
but we've become wasteful and we've become lazy over times and we've de we've decided that things aren't worth our time to deal with one of my co-workers came up to me the other day and she bought some of those clip-on sunglasses and she said these stupid things just keep falling off they don't fit my glasses right I'm tired of them and she just threw them in my trash can and I said take those back and get your money out of them and she said it's just not worth it and I think a lot of times we think like that it's just not worth it but it is worth it every dollar back in my pocket is one more dollar I don't have to earn before I retire because I already have that dollar so I rarely take food back but this was just something that we could not eat and it has a full guarantee on the back a lot of those foods do if their quality is questioned you can always bring them back so just a little tip there of maybe something that you haven't thought of before on returning something that just did not meet your expectations we don't have to be frugal in just bad times being frugal all the time will make our life so much fuller so much easier and so much more enjoyable by having that extra cushion and that extra money to do with it with what we really really want to do with it and I have added a frugal playlist of recipes and so I hope that you enjoy that. That is something new on my channel that I have started. They're just quick, easy, frugal recipes. Most of them are about two and a half minutes or less. So I hope that you enjoy that new playlist and I hope to see you in the future.